Okay, well, it's night 26, and I have my shirt on. I don't know if you guys saw the Prince thing that was on this week. Uh, it was really great. And then uh, this shirt is available in the Minneapolis airport. It has a giant one of these on the back. Super cute. Um, and that was the last airport I was in before we were all sent to our rooms, ungrounded. Um, sadly, it's a great airport really is, but boy, you better wear tennis shoes because they have some crazy connections. Anyway, I know Prince was a Jehovah Witness, so he probably wasn't a big drinker, but I Googled it, and occasionally he liked a little red wine. So I have what Lou calls my sissy pinot. That's his definition. And it's a very light pinot, and it's only like 12 bucks. I don't know, as I get older, like Merlot's and stuff, terrible headaches. So this, no headache. What? Screw top. Good for the road, too. Take it anywhere. All right. We're back to Tanya's daddy making waves everywhere. But now she's on her way up to Merle Haggard Studios in Bakersfield, California with these two other girls she's going to be in a band with. And I really don't know if that's the smartest decision, but here we go. Oh, and she also had ESP that she thinks Merle Haggard was rabbit hunting. Fuzzy Owens was fantastic. He welcomed us and treated us like we were a legitimate country music band instead of a bunch of schoolgirls. I came out of the vocal booth after doing a couple songs just as the man Merle Haggard was walking in the studio. I couldn't believe it. He was dressed all in black and perhaps the most handsome, charismatic man I'd ever seen. I think I fell in love with Merle on the spot. Fuzzy was talking to him, and when Merle spoke to me, it made my hair stand on end. He must have got a kick out of seeing us girls they're trying to be professionals because he had turned and asked if I wanted to sing with him. He hadn't even heard my voice. I couldn't believe it. Merle Haggard wanted to sing with him, wanted me to sing with him. Right then, careers and big, big breaks were meaningless. The only thing that mattered was the fact that Merle Haggard had invited me to sing a duet with him. I'd met and performed with entertainers before, because, but it was because of my daddy's insistence. This time, a star had approached me. He strummed his guitar. What song would you like to sing, like to do? Mule Skinner Blues, I said. Merle grinned. Mule Skinner Blues it is, he said. And we sang together. Merle thanked me and left. When he told Fuzzy, when he told Fuzzy he was going rabbit hunting, the Lee Brand girls almost dropped their teeth. I realized years later that he's not one to sit around and make small talk with a bunch of kids, whether he liked one's voice or not, but I didn't feel let down by his sudden exit. Far from it. I was on my natural high and couldn't wait to get home and tell my parents what had happened. In fact, the rest of the trip was a letdown. We knocked on doors around town the next day, played tapes for people, and nothing happened. Not only was the big break not happening as scheduled, but I was sneezing and coughing and missing my parents. By the time I got back to my little trailer and my parents, I was almost at an anxiety attack stage. <laughs> They're like 12, 13 at the most. She, 13 was Delta Dawn and we ain't near that. So she's probably 12 and she's having anxiety attacks. Oh my God. About a month later, Ted Glaser said he was going to send Billy Sherrell the tape and it came back to us in the mail. We didn't know whether it was a mistake made by someone in the mail room or whether Glaser had listened and reconsidered. Whatever happened, it was a blow to us all, especially to Dad. He had it in his mind that I was going to be on Columbia Records. Well, even though I begged LaCosta not to get married, she was determined to go through it. She asked me to be her bridesmaid and promised that marriage would not dim her career, girls, her career goals. I was skeptical, but too excited about being in the wedding to worry about it. Exactly. Costa com had completed a two-year program at Cohesh and was working in the medical records department at the hospital at Wilcox. She set a date and we left for the wedding. I don't think any of the brides' magazines Costa ever read ever addressed the wedding etiquette involved when the father of the bride arrives with a shiner. Ha <laughs> ha! Now what? Father bride got a black eye. It all started in Flagstaff, Arizona. My sister went to school there for two years. We were driving through town, and I spotted a sign that drew us like moths to a flame. Museum Records. We'd never heard of Museum Records. But then RCA, CBS, and MGM hadn't exactly been knocking on our door. Any record company in the world looked good about then. 
The company was both a record label and a bar. Well, hello, winner. And the band leader from the club invited me to audition that night. That meant I could get up and do a couple of numbers with the band. What do you want me to sing, I asked. You can sing whatever you want, the band leader said. This band can play anything. I borrowed a pair of white go-go boots from his wife and hoped they passed for costuming. We went to get some food at a nearby diner and waited until showtime. When we got back to the club, it was almost deserted. Maybe it was the poor crowd that had put the lead guitar player in a bad mood, or maybe the band leader hadn't thought to inform him about me. Whatever it was, the guy seemed sullen and angry from the minute my name was announced. I took the mic and turned to the band. There goes my everything, I said. What key? The lead guitar shot back like a bullet. The tone of his voice took me surprised, and, and the fact that I didn't know what key I sang the song in didn't help. I don't know, I gulped. He shook his head and glared at me and the band leader. I didn't know what else to do but start the song and let them find the key. Exactly. You do what you do and make them catch up. I agree. Pfft. Call yourself a musician. You figure out what key I'm singing in, jackass. And that's just what I did. After I finished, I turned around to the band again. The guitarist's mood had not improved. So I decided to be helpful. It's just, I'll just start cold again, I said, not realizing that he would take that as a slam of some sort. Maybe he was drunk because he said, what he said next was really shocking considering I was 11 years old. Okay, she's 11. So all this stuff I've been reading up to so far, she's 11. Anxiety attacks, road trips with no money, a lot going on at 11. Oh, he was really shocking considering I was 11 years old. Yeah, you little bitch, start them all off cold. She's 11. Who calls an 11 year old a bitch? Well, I think what's his name did. What was that guy from the NBC show? I can't think of his name. Left a voicemail for his kid, Alec Baldwin. I think he said mean things to his daughter when she was young. That's not a fact. You'd have to Google it, but I think it's a good lead. <sighs> I'd never been called a name like that in my life. It sounded to me like the worst insult in the world. I could barely get through the song. By the time I got off stage and across the room to my parents' table, I was shaking all over. What's the matter, Tanya? You sounded great. My dad immediately took my mood to mean that I'd been unhappy with the performance. I couldn't say anything for a minute because I was starting to tear up. I blubbered out what the guitar player said to me. At that point, my mother knew we were in, we were in for it. Tanya, don't you start crying. You're going to get your dad in a lot of trouble. It was too late. Dad's face had a deep shade of red and his jaw was set. You two go to the bathroom. I'm going to take care of this, he ordered. Mm, I feel a fight coming. One more paragraph. Mother rushed me into the bathroom, but then she decided she just couldn't stand in there not knowing what was happening. When we got back to the bar, Daddy was standing over the band's table, shaking his fist at the guitarist, Then all of a sudden it seemed like the guy went flying off his chair. He was a little guy, and he bounced right back up. Dad always said, it's the little guys you want to worry about that fight. A big man will hit the ground and stay down, but a little wiry guy, he'll come back at you, and that's exactly what he did. And all hell broke loose. Some of the guitar player's friends jumped in on it, and then Dad grabbed two chairs and was slamming them into the first one and then taking another, and I was screaming, and Mother was freaking. Dad broke loose from the pack and headed out the door for the car with Mother and me right behind him. Thank God you're out of there, Mother said, her voice shaking. I ain't out of there. Dad said, I'm getting my gun. Oh, no. We can't, we can't be doing that. You can't be shooting people because your 11-year-old daughter was called a bitch, which isn't nice, but you could just leave. Option. Okay, I'll be here with my Pino, my Bluebird, available at uh, probably any liquor store in America grocery store if you're not living in a communist state, which I know some of you are. If I ever do a one-woman show, which I won't, it's going to be called uh, Liquor Laws in America because I have a lot of complaints about liquor laws, especially the fact that you can't have a uh, drink in New York at the airport before, I think, on Sundays before 10. Noon? Something ridiculous. For New York? I mean, I... I get it if we're in the Bible Belt, but somebody needs to look into that. Maybe Cuomo, when he, gets, <laughs> when he gets done with the pandemic, maybe I'll send an email about the liquor laws at JFK LaGuardia. 
airports. Okay, guys. If you want this Prince t-shirt, you have to go to the Minneapolis airport. There's a whole Prince store in there. Super, super cool. Like, I'm a Prince fan. I'm not a diehard, but if you were a diehard, shoo, buddy. Worth flying just to Minneapolis. Now you could go to his house. You could do the whole tour, make a weekend of it. Okay, that's all I got for tonight. As Ron White says, what do we say? Night, night, termites. <laughs>